All right, that is a touch better. Anyway, hi, restarting this. Hi, I'm James Howell. This is the Delta, this is the Delta Head stream, and today we are going to stream Dino Stalker, a PS2 game for the Gun Con 2 uh, that was released kind of mid 2000s and is in fact canon for Dino Crisis. So while folks uh, trickle in, I'm going to start doing something new here for the stream. For the first five minutes, I'm just going to talk about whatever I've been reading and uh, that'll give anybody who's getting the link or getting themselves good and ready for whatever that means a uh, chance to show up. So this week I have been reading The Luciads by Luis Vadacamoes. I don't know if that's correct pronunciation because I don't speak Portuguese, but this is the 15th century Portuguese uh, epic poem that uh, is kind of commemorating uh, Portugal's first forays into the uh, what is in uh, Western European textbooks known as the Age of Exploration and in the rest of the uh, world known as the Age of European Imperialism. So, uh, but yeah, this is, um, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a piece of history. A lot of the poetry is quite good, uh, but it does something that's really, really weird in this because, you know, uh, Portugal being located, you know, on Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, you know, uh, most of Spain, I don't think a lot of people know this, most of Spain was um, occupied and, I mean, it was a, it was a Muslim nation for, uh, for, for hundreds of years. And then, you know, uh, Christian nations sort of took um, root in France and then managed to push their way down. And then once the Muslim state sort of fractured, then the uh, Christian nations in the uh, it was like these were the, these would have been like the latter crusades came down and uh, used the divided political situation to uh, claim that into what is Spain and legally actually I think yes legally a Catholic country. So uh, you know the Christian Muslim difference is like a really big deal in this, uh, and the Christian God obviously is a major source of providence, the belief in empire. But what's really wild is that the Greek gods or the Roman gods are like actual players in this. They're actual characters and they're the ones who are doing everything. Uh, they're the ones who are saving the Portuguese sailors. They're the ones who are intervening to reveal plots and to give good wins and stuff like that. And then the captains go and they thank Providence. They thank, they thank uh, you know, uh, the Christian gods Providence. And like, that's not, that's not even a character. So it's like in this nationalistic piece of literature where their religious view is like core to their identity, uh, that isn't the universe this exists in. It's really weird. And uh, yeah, I haven't encountered anything like this before. At least I did not expect this to be the case for 15th century uh, epic poetry. So yeah, that's good stuff. So there's our five minutes, there's our intro, and here is our box art. <laughs> 